that is one ocean view right there it's beautiful look at some of those waves they're they're fairly big i mean they look big from here and i don't know how far away i am i don't know if they're surfing waves but they sure do look cool i don't get to the ocean very often actually i could probably count on both my hands how many times i've been to the ocean so to me this is really incredible to some of you guys maybe this is something you see every day but for me this is quite the show well welcome back you guys to another episode we are going to be camping by the ocean i found this absolutely beautiful campsite and we're going to hang out here cook up some good food and just have a good old time well i don't want to be rude so i will give you guys a tour of my campsite real quick got this really cool little uh bench seat there that's beautiful picnic table campfire a little chair and a nice spot to put a tent i believe at least that's where i'm going to attempt to put a tent <laughs> we know how that goes especially on rocky ground i'm not far from the car so it won't be too hard to just drag my stuff up here and uh, get to town on setting up camp so we'll get that done really quick and then we can explore the area some more let's do it Well, if you guys watched my last video, you saw that me and my brother struggled to put uh, our tent up because we were on rocky ground. Well, he was kind enough to gift me this. It is a hammer with a bunch of stakes and it actually helps you pull the stakes out of the ground. So <laughs> that is really cool. All right, let's see what we got here. There it is. All right, so it looks like a hammer and you can, I guess, put your, uh, Put this through here, I would assume. Then you got a handle here. Kind of pull up with it. We'll, uh, we'll see how that works tomorrow when we gotta pull up these stakes. Let's see how hard they're gonna be to put in. Now a lot of you guys have seen this uh, this tent before, so I'm not going to go over great detail on the setup and all that. Um, if you're curious about that, I have other videos that go into a little more detail. All right, so now we're going to put in the inner tent, the insulated part. All right. Yeah, this is what's going to keep us cool be so hot.
All right, I got the insulation up. It looks great. You guys know I love this. <laughs> what I really like about it is the sound dampening. So here we are, we're outside. Here's the sound level. Then we go inside. Here's the first area. And then we go inside the insulated area. It's definitely a lot quieter in here. And it, you can still hear the ocean, but it's way more soothing. It's not like in your face, you know what I mean? Or in your ears. <laughs> ah, I love these insulated tents. All right, we have a little bit more to set up. I just gotta get my bed in here. Um, I'm not getting too fancy this time, you guys. And I wanna hurry up because I really wanna explore this place. Don't have much time. We're sloping that way quite a bit. Oh. Yeah. So I'll be sleeping this way. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so comfortable. <laughs> All right, need our pillow real quick. Just get this open. Oh yeah, that's gonna make for a great night. Real good night. <sighs> well, I think you know what's coming next. Whoa, oh, duck lamp. Now I haven't quite finished him. I sanded him down and then I also uh, kind of recessed this and glued it in. So it's not super pretty yet, but I do have some other ideas for it. But for now, it's just the plain old duck lamp. The ugly duck lamp. it still works. Woo! Woohoo! Our bedroom's all made. Nice and cozy looking. All right, the tent's all set up. There we go. <laughs> I know that you guys have talked about how many guy lines this actually has. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of them and it kind of looks like a spider web But you got to remember where this tent was designed. It was designed in Ireland and they have a lot of heavy winds And this thing is a rock It will not move you guys and actually that's gonna be great for this location because It gets pretty windy at the coast um, I mean so windy you might even just fly a kite, you know <laughs> Oh, would you look at that? I guess we're gonna have to go fly it I mean, we're at the ocean. We've got to fly a kite, you guys. We got that nice, nice breeze going right now. Perfect for the kite, you guys. <laughs> Been a long time since I've flown a kite. I'll tell you that. Oh, this is cool. Nice little pathway here.
vast ocean. <laughs> I don't see a single person on this beach. Wow. Oh, and I got bald eagle flying above. <laughs> Woo! Wow. <laughs> What an incredible spot to be on an old ancient tree. <laughs> I might just have to fly my kite from here. Let's see here. I don't want any pieces to fly out. It is windy out here, you guys. <laughs> Perfect day to fly a kite. I'm figuring it out, you guys. We're gonna figure it out get her flying before the tide takes us away that's the plan at least gonna attach this to this hopefully that'll stay on there oh man she's gonna fly good gotta take her streamers off Woo! I'm getting attacked by streamers <laughs> okay She's gonna go airborne. I don't think it's gonna need a whole lot of uh, coaxing to get in the air. Oh yeah, we got her in the air. We'll bring her in and see if we can attach the GoPro to it somehow. Probably a dumb idea. I'm full of those. All right, I'm fashioning my extra GoPro on here. I think what I'll have to do is cut a hole in it though. And I don't know if that's gonna ruin the, uh, the kite itself. But if I cut a hole in it and the camera goes through, Maybe 
Maybe I can fly this. <laughs> Who needs a drone, right? Now I don't have anything to cut it. That's the only problem. I don't have a knife on me, which is silly. I typically have one. I do have my car keys. Maybe I can rip a hole in it with these. It's a bad idea, guys, but we're trying it. I don't know if this is going to affect it too much, though. That's the problem. Okay. Got it true. Hey, flock of seagulls. <laughs> All right. I've got the GoPro through it. Let's see if that'll work. All right, are you ready for your maiden voyage? Here we go! Ah, hold on! Oh no, the string's all messed up. Hold on guys, you're about to go bear airborne. Okay. Well, I tried you guys. Just couldn't get it airborne, that's okay. It was a fun, uh, fun project. I like being by the ocean, but I really like the view from up top, from the campsite. It's so nice. So we'll get back there and uh, it's about time for some dinner. All right, it's time for dinner. We're making a turtle burger. I know you guys have been waiting for this, right? <laughs> oh, it's gonna be good. Got some fresh turtle meat right here. No, just kidding. <laughs> Would I really do that? No, that's beef. That is beef. And we're gonna be using hot dogs. <laughs> Tricked ya. Just looks like a turtle. <laughs> Got one foot, two feet right there.
Perfect. Now we grab our turtle meat. I mean, our beef. <laughs> Squish it on in there. Okay. Got a nice little uh, little turtle shell there. Now we gotta just insert our little legs. So we're gonna cut a little area here. Need a little hand. Going with that ramen fire starter. This works good. <laughs> oh man, it looks like a real turtle. That is cool. Definitely a fun little recipe. All right, we're going for the flip real quick. All right, the secret to a turtle burger, cooking her slowly. Just like the turtle itself, you know, it's slow, so you cook it slow. <laughs> no, this is the first time I've ever done this, so I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna add a little Creole seasoning to our uh, turtle here. All right, we're gonna add a little bit of this barbecue jerk sauce to it. This was sent to me by my brother. <laughs> we'll just kind of lather them up there a little bit. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna check that turtle real quick. Make sure it's uh, good and done. Yeah, I think that's probably pretty good. <laughs> ah, that's a nice looking little turtle burger. Alright, go ahead and top him up. 
That thing is massive. There ain't no way I'm getting that thing in my mouth. Dearly Father, Lord, thank you so much for this beautiful place. Lord, it's just always, I'm always in such awe of your creation. To think, Lord, that heaven will be even better than this, I, I just can't fathom it. But Lord, I so look forward to it. Thank you so much for the opportunity to just come here and just see this. It really brings a healing to my heart, Lord, and I just thank you for that. The ocean is just so big and, and wide and powerful, and it just reminds me of you and, and all of your glory. Lord, you're bigger than anything, and you can do anything. And I just thank you for what you do and how you just take care of us. Lord, I just thank you for this food. I pray you'll bless it to my body. Lord, please watch over the family as I'm away, and I pray that you will bless this food in my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh boy, you guys, look at that thing. That thing is massive. I don't know how I'm going to even eat it. I really don't. Well, you guys have seen me eat burgers, I think, in the last three videos. <laughs> I think this is the one to top them all. So, probably done after this. Done eating burgers for a while. <laughs> Let's see if I can even get into this. I'm really not even sure if I can even get it into my mouth. This is so unhealthy. Oh! thing is just massive it's so massive oh my word oh man this is overkill you guys oh. You guys, I don't, I don't even think I can finish this thing. It's way too massive. It's good, but I don't know it's a big burger. <laughs> what did I create? All right, we're gonna hike down here real quick and uh, go get a couple bundles of, of wood for a fire tonight. I think that'd be kind of nice. Man, it's gorgeous out here. Such a beautiful location. Sounds like some crows and stuff are fighting. <laughs> That's kind of weird. They sure have a whole lot to say, I guess. <laughs> All right, got 10 bucks going in for the wood. It's absolutely stunning out here, you guys. I'm really excited to see the sunset. So I think I'm gonna just relax, kind of hang out for a little bit and kind of get ready for that. We'll watch the sunset probably down there. So I'll go hike down there in a little while, but 
Otherwise, I'm just gonna relax for a little bit. I'll see you guys in a few. This is incredible. Listen if you can hear when the water recedes over the rocks, it sounds so cool. I don't know if you can actually hear it, but it's incredible. The water keeps rising, the tide's rising. <laughs> so I'm, not, I'm gonna stick it out here as long as I can to watch this, but I don't know how far, I don't know at what point this is gonna come. And it just keeps getting closer and closer. Like I said, I'm not experienced with the ocean, so. I definitely want to give it the respect it deserves.
All right, we're doing a pineapple dessert. We're gonna grill up some pineapple. <laughs> this should be fun, right? <laughs> All right, see if I, I don't really have the biggest knife here. Let's just see what happens. put that in the woods and it should grow another pineapple. Chuck that. Chuck like that. Something like this. We'll go ahead and skewer that and uh, get it over the flame. We're going to use the bitty big Q, actually. I'm going to put, put it over the bitty big Q. I'm going to season the grate this time with the... Uh, the extra so we'll just kind of clean it up get all my last times you know food cleaned off here <laughs> Ooh, that's hot before we grill them I'm gonna throw a little bit of maple syrup on it Look at those. They look nice. We're just gonna chop them up into little pieces now. Whoa, yeah, here we go. We're gonna take some of this, put it inside of there. It's like a little angel food cake, you know? And then this is crushed walnuts. Don't that look good, you guys? That looks like a good dessert. Look at that. <laughs> Grilled pineapple, yum, yum, yum. Mmm. Oh, man. That's an amazing dessert right there. Quick and easy and very tasty. I like the crunch of the, uh, the walnuts. It's really good. Compliments it very well. I mean, look at that happy little dessert right there. Super happy. <laughs> very tasty. Perfect before bed. All right, I'm in the tent. It's nice and cozy in here. I can still hear the ocean, but it's a little bit, uh, it's not as loud, which I really like. It's like very comforting. I like it. 
I'm planning on having a real good night's sleep tonight, that's for sure. Well, I was thinking about working on the duck tomorrow, but I think I'm going to hold off. I think what I want to do is do some watercolors. Do a little painting in the morning, you know. It's just so pretty out there, I've got to capture it somehow. Well, I'm really tired, and I'm ready for bed. So I'm going to hit the sack and go to sleep, and I will see all of you in the morning. Good night! I forgot to mention I did set up the trail cam and I put it really low because I saw some like squirrels and and who knows what else kind of rodents are running around. I might have even left something for them to snack on. <laughs> we'll see what happens tomorrow you guys. All right officially good night. Oh. oh, where's the light? It's so dark in here. Where's the light? Ah, oh, there you are. Oh. It's really easy to sleep in in this tent. It's so cozy. And it's dark. I mean, I think the sun's coming up right now, but it don't look like it. Hey, quiet. I hear you out there. No. No. I can sleep in if I want. Alright, I better get up and start this day. It's going to be a beautiful one. Man, talk about an amazing spot to sit in the morning. This is beautiful. Super beautiful. I love hearing all the birds and everything too. So cool. Oh, hey, the little treat that I left behind is gone. We'll have to check the trail cam. All right, let's check the trail cam. Maybe something stole our Stole our treats. Someone stole our fizzy lifting drinks. <laughs> Ooh, it's a little chilly out here. Oh, hey, look, a robin. <laughs> I don't know if it was him that ate it. Maybe he's gonna come back. Oh, here he comes back. Oh, 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 hey. <laughs> There's the culprit. Oh, you're gonna do a dance? <laughs> Is that tasty? Well, there you go. 
We had a couple birds show up on the trail cam. That's great. I didn't expect birds actually. I was thinking more of like a, a little squirrel or something, but <laughs> oh, they had a nice tasty treat. All right, I need some coffee. I'm gonna use the AeroPress today. Makes a good cup of coffee. Get our filter in there. Oh, it's a beautiful thing, you guys. Coffee in the morning. With a view like this. It's incredible. Definitely one of the most beautiful views that I've had while camping. They all just keep getting better, you know? <laughs> well, I better get to painting because it's going to take me a while. I definitely want to do that.
Well, there you go. A little bit of ocean painting. <laughs> I kind of omitted a couple of trees that were out there, uh, kind of blocking the ocean view, so it doesn't look exactly the same, but sure was a lot of fun. Well, it took me a while to do, and I'm hungry. I still haven't ate breakfast. <laughs> I got a quick, easy one, though, so let's make some breakfast, and then I got to pack up and get out of here. got just a little burrito in a bag <laughs> we're gonna try that out hopefully it treats me well I don't know how well this is gonna work but we're just gonna try to heat it up in here I'm just gonna try to get a little bit of a char on it and then I'm gonna do something that you guys told me to do in the last video which I think will work well with this all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the oven effect like I did last time with the pancakes. But this time, I'm gonna add water to the pan like you guys said. And we'll see if that will... kinda create that oven effect. Here we go. I learn a lot from you guys, and I sure do appreciate it. Burrito, some salsa, and a beautiful view. Don't get much better. Just don't. Mm. It's not the best prepackaged burrito I've ever had, but it's gonna do. Need something quick and easy, you guys. Checkout is at noon, so. And I'm a little behind already.
Why did it take me so long to get one of these? <laughs> Man, this thing works great. Oh, that's too easy. Too easy. Definitely recommend. Makes life easy. Well, I've got everything packed up. I'm about ready to get out of here, you guys. It was a beautiful trip. I just love seeing the ocean. There's no doubt about it. I don't get to see it often, so when I do, boy, do I sure enjoy it. Well, if you've made it this far in the video, you guys, I know that you're really, truly here for me. You're the ones that help support this channel so much, and I cannot thank you guys enough. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to give away this painting to one of you. If you've made it this far in the video and you're listening to me now, I think you deserve to have an opportunity to have this painting. <laughs> All you need to do is leave a comment on the video and at the very end of your comment, put, I'm in. That way I know that you made it to this part of the video and you want to enter yourself in to win the painting. Just a little give back to you guys. I like to do that once in a while. And it's a way that I can show my gratitude towards you guys. And on that note, I gotta get out of here, you guys. I've got about a six hour drive ahead of me. Get home and see the family. So once again, thank you guys so much for joining me. As always, God bless, and I will see you on the next episode. Bye! Thank you.